Welcome back to Hand of Fate. I'm about to attempt the King of Plague. And I don't think I'm going to be able to take him out on my first try, because these curses are pretty nasty. We have Time Distortion, which is not too bad. It's, uh, it makes every, basically everything does more damage and everybody moves faster. Which sounds like it might be kind of a plus for everybody and not just my enemies, but the move's 20% faster. That's the thing I'm really worried about. Because that means I'm going to have less time to react. And especially the Wrath of Food I'm very worried about. In combat, on each counterattack, the player inflicts double damage and loses one food. I'm going to starve. I basically have to do no counterattacks if I don't want to starve. Are you a religious person? Now is the time for prayers. The King of Plague will kill you and lick the fat from your bones. The King will not respond to your normal tactics. In fact, he will make you work harder for less gain than ever. So much destruction you have wrought. Once this is done and the Rat King chews upon your bones, it will be an age before I can find new pieces to face those who come to play. Well, that's a fun start to things. Looks like it's just one, so this should be pretty easy. Choose from these options. Come on! <laughs> Ten health per ah. curse. That's actually pretty bad, because I have two curses, so goodbye to any health. That's fine, though. I'll make it up regenerating. Okay, so I want to test out this counterattack thing and make sure it works the way I think it does. So I'm going to attempt one counterattack and see if my food goes down from 14 to 13. So, let's see. Yep, there goes one food. Okay. So no counterattacking whatsoever. Fight me on the bridge, come on. Oh crap, actually pushed him. help some people out and they leave the food behind me. How convenient. Ah, oh, right, the Crown of Hindsight? Yeah, river, the Lizard Dome, cave rescue, ooh. Okay, I don't want to do the river, but the Lizard Dome is a very good way to earn a lot of resources and it's pretty damn easy. Or at least it has been in the past. So let's actually go back. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Okay, I believe this one is the failure. I'm not sure about the others. So it should give me a uh, two and three chance of getting success. Oh, okay. I'm battered about because of my heavy armor and my incompetence. Jesus. Amongst all my cards, 
This is one of the most hated. Alright, at least the gold card did not hurt me. Because I had no damn gold. Bring it on. I don't think it actually matters which one I pick. So I guess I'm just going to go with the easier one. That is just mind-blowingly easy. You defeat two super weak, just like, desert bandits and you get four gain cards. That is amazing! The pendulum can swing both ways. Ooh. Fire was never meant to be so controlled and so channeled. Really? Is that what you're going to do? It's actually been a while since I've had a an upgraded weapon from the default. And yeah, honestly, I think they should nerf it. It seems way too good. Either the enemies you need to either the enemies you fight need to be harder, or it needs to give you less game cards, because that is just it's like just throwing supplies at your face, like you don't even have to work for it really. Shall I attempt the rescue? Sure. It seems our pirates and our bandits are cut from the same cloth. Do you think it's true that men are alike wherever you find them? Or is it just that our memories fade and congeal with the cold passage of time? Well, they don't have any jack of dust or anything like that, so three of dust should be really easy to take on, so... I'm just gonna beat them up. Three of dust? <laughs> I'm gonna turn you into dust. Yeah. How do you like that sick burn? Oh wait, don't do that! No, I just lost the food! I've gotta unlearn doing that. This damn curse. Eat this! Oh my god. Oh, these are so easy. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Alright, well, I don't need huge hammer because I have a good weapon. Time heals is amazing. I have a shield, so I don't really need another shield. Yeah, let's go with time heals. Have to pass it again. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. I mean, I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? Unlike defeating an enemy encounter, the uh, the river doesn't just disappear because you went through it. All right, either this one or this one is a failure. So one of these. Okay. Well, if you had a lighter armor, you could attempt to die for them safely, yeah. I mean, given the fact... Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. Hold on. Hold on. Can I unequip my armor and have no armor? Because I was just thinking, the fact that you start with medium armor doesn't make it impossible to ever complete this. But if you can actually just unequip your armor... How'd you do that? Here is all you have gained. Hmm? No, that's not what I want. 
maybe you can't? There's upgrades, there's back, which just does this. Yeah, maybe you can't unequip it. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. I have been confident, perhaps complacent. Yet, these final opponents I assembled in ages past specifically to hold against the greatest challenges. You cannot possibly hope to defeat them. I bet you're thrilled Ooh. to see Jack again. Not exactly. Alright, this might be a bit tough. I do have a really good weapon, though. I just, I, I can't counterattack. In fact, what I might do is just run around until I can do this. Shit. Oh, Jesus. Clouds of poison. I can't counterattack anything. Wait, waiting for the poison to dissipate. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, I thought you died. Oh, now it's dead. Ooh. Okay. Two of them. Hmm. Could be a little bit hairy, but if I can take out three of these then I can finally get rid of the golem hunting parties, which I really want to do. So, let's do it. Three and four chance. Alright, the failure is somewhere on the left, so if I choose the one all the way on the right, I should be okay. Can't counter any of their attacks. This is going to be a very long fight. One more hit. I guess I couldn't take one more hit. 
Your weapon has powers, yet you haven't used them. And now you're dead. The rats will find you and gnaw upon your bones. Excuse me, what did you say about my weapon's power? You mean the flame? You want me to use the flame ability against the fucking lava golems? You designed the game, don't you think that seems kind of dumb? Why would I do that? You are better than I thought. Try again. Like I'm gonna burn lava stone. They're lava golems, they're like super hot stones. You really think I'm gonna be able to burn super hot stones? You jackass. You fuck. You fucking asshole. He still waits for you. Vile and resourceful. Alright, let's go again. What brings you to play the game? Ha. Huh. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Just grab the ore, so hopefully I can do something with it at some point. I will accept the quest. Ah, that is one of my favorites. Excellent, this is a good start. Gotta remember, do not counter. It's a very large map. What would you pay for prowess in battle, I ask? Well, given that I have no gold, this should make me do a hell of a lot of damage. I think. Are you sure that's the right approach? Ferry boat. I think that one's new. I don't think I've ever had that as an exit before. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. And this one's new. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. You make your way to the Sacred Stones at midday on the summer solstice. Oh, is this the druid card? They wanted me to protect them during their ritual? I think it is. Yeah, the druids, still clad from head to toe in their long robes, are all standing quietly on the stones, waiting for you. One of them speaks. We are ready to begin. They're wearing robes during the summer. You pace the perimeter of the stones while the druids form a circle and begin chanting. Soon, their low droning attracts the attention of some ratmen. Mm, not again.
Alright, I need to break these things. There we go. One attack, then jump. One attack, then jump. Let's go for the ranged. One more. Okay. Ranged is down. You and me. Let's wait for the poison to dissipate. <laughs> Looks like it's damaging him. Doesn't like the taste of his own poison. Okay, that wasn't too bad. With the Ratman dispatched, you turn back to check on the progress of the Druid ceremony. They appear oblivious to you, absorbed in their chanting, and the ritual continues. Your skirmish with the Ratman seems to have brought you the attention, brought you to the attention of a group of bandits. Oh god, more. <laughs> That is what it means to be king. Oh. To return even after defeat. Two bosses at the same time. This should be interesting. Oh god, this is gonna be really hard. It just said there was bosses. It didn't say there's fucking a million everythings. Holy shit. I don't care if I get stabbed in the back. I'm taking out these people. And the tower. I'm dead. Take out this stupid thing! Come on! Jesus. Come on! Okay, got it. Now, what do I go for first? Do I go for the lackeys? Yeah, I probably should. Get him when he's down! Get him when he's down! Got him. Got him. Okay, almost there. Okay, just the two bosses. Wait a minute. Now it's just the two bosses. Oh, shit!
<laughs> he just hit her. <laughs> nice. Oh shit, four hit points. Four hit points. He just hit himself! Alright, he's down. Come on. Come on, we got this. Oh shit, there's one more! Oh no! I thought she only did three in a row, not four. Fuck! I was moving in to capitalize on the the opening that I thought existed, but it didn't. To fear. Whew. My peace takes yours, and the battle is ended. Try again. Yeah, this is a hard one. How bare my cabinet now looks. All right, one more. I have saved much for this moment. Are you a religious person? Now is the time for prayers. The King of Plague will kill you and lick the fat from your bones. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. What does this do? The more you earn, the more you earn. Plus one gold and plus two health. That's not bad. And this? Ooh. Once per combat. Press right bumper to activate an aura, aura that makes every successful strike drop gold. I like that. Yeah, let's go with that. Another one. All right, we're going to use it right now. All right, let's do it. Get some money. Look at all that gold. That is... That is absolutely worth it. Wow. Okay, this is a really good start. So I'm basically gonna be... I'm basically gonna be swimming in gold and I have a really good weapon. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Hmm. I don't have that much food, but then again, next time I come across a shop, I should be able to buy plenty. But am I going to come, come across a shop soon enough if I give him ten food? That only leaves me with two. I'm going to take the risk. <laughs> Wonderful. Very nice indeed. Not really, that's kind of terrible. I didn't even unlock his coin because I failed. Damn it. 
I should have been more careful with where I rutted around in the old man's sack. An expedition. Press on. Alright, where's the shops? Okay, we need to go there right now. Do you understand what it is we do now? Or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? Let's go ahead and wager my helmet. There's one failure card somewhere on the left. Hmm. Your situation is starting to look hopeless. Please don't have a barking dog. Please don't have a barking dog. Please don't have a barking Finally, dog. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Ah, no barking dog. Actually, wait a minute. I should probably sell something, although I think I kind of just missed my opportunity. I did. Oh well, that's fine. I probably sell my old axe, but it's only worth a little bit of money. Our queen of plague returns. Much like the plague itself, when you think about it. There is strength in persistence. Okay. I think I can just kind of ignore that thing. Well, mm, maybe I can't. No, I can't. Okay, here we go. Oh, I forgot mercenary contract. Whoops. Also, I forgot about my lightning. Think about the way we play this game. You continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose. Okay, so now is actually a perfect time to request food, I think, because they want you to pay them money and pay them like half of your money, but I don't actually have any. So let's try it and see what happens. Oh, you can offer them half of your gold if you don't have any. Uh, free food, please? Please? Ooh, that doesn't look good. A choice. Select your desire. Oh, okay. You managed to charm the parent into sharing their small supply of food. That was indeed a small supply, but it's something. Rescues and redemption are the stock in trade of a hero, of course. Hmm. That's one of the questions we must ask the cards, though, is it not? Are you, in fact, a hero? I wouldn't mind the Jack of Dust, but the Three of Mages would be very annoying, especially not being able to actually counter their magics, so let's try to negotiate. Okay, I'll take it. Some of the pirates slip out the back while the rest attack you. Okay, so a huge success would have been that they actually accept my uh, parlay, or whatever you want to call it. And normal success means some of them disappear, and I suppose failure means maybe they get the, the drop on you and you draw like a pain card or something. 
Choose a monster to discard. Let's get rid of the mages. Poor Jack. His place is so much lower than ours. He merely repeats the same motions over and over. Incapable of change. Gonna get a lot of money. Look at all that money. It's raining money. So much money. Oh my god, this is... I just got 82 gold. Like, this is obscene. <laughs> this card is ridiculous. This mercenary contract. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Now we can actually buy some food and maybe some other stuff. I do want to keep 50 gold though for the Ratman thing. Oh yeah, uh, let me sell my my axe. Plus 50 gold for each blessing they possess and all blessings are lost. That's actually, that's actually not bad. Let me see what blessings I have. I have two. And none of them are very good. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Eh. When the player is struck by a ranged attack, there's a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. That's okay. Uh, especially given that I can't use my shield, but I don't know about it. Still, though, even if I... I mean, I don't really need the money that I would actually gain from doing that, though, because the mercenary contract just gives me so much. So I don't think it's actually worth it. <laughs> the player receives 5% less damage per blessing and 5% more damage per curse. Well, given that I have, I believe, two of each, that would even out to be completely pointless. I don't want another artifact because I have mercenary contract. Yeah, just gonna buy some food. Not too much, though. Let's get up to one more. There we go. Well, well, well. More food? Sure. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. All the world is a game board. And us men and women merely players. I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestination. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. In a tavern, you're approached by a sea captain. You promptly lick his arm and find out that he's salty. He tells you a story of great woe, a cursed treasure, many a crossed sword and a whole crew lost to, da to Davy Jones' locker. Captain... how do I say that name? I know that's not his name. <laughs> um... Bacanera? I'm gonna go with that. Captain Bacanera says he knows a way to get his crew back, but he needs the help of a brave warrior. He promises great treasures, which he and his crew have acquired on their journeys. Yeah, let's go ahead and help him out. My crew is taken from me by a lich and her crew of skeletons. If the lich can be defeated, my crew will be freed from their 
Cursed poison. A uh, prison. Cursed poison. All right. Shame to see a beast that has been vanquished mm. yet refuses to leave the board. This is going to be interesting. Oh my god, this is a very small environment. All right, let's do this. The beam! What is even happening? I, I don't even know what's happening. This is... Oh, this is fucking terrible. Oh my god. That was like... Even at this oh. stage, death still finds you. Another of my servants fulfills his duties. That was a very, very bad environment to fight those two bosses in. You got the King of Skulls who summons those things that then plant explosives that blow up. So you have a thing where you need to stay away from him, but there's almost no room with which to do that. And he shoots a laser, which means your maneuverability is even lower. And the Lich constantly shoots shit at you, and you can't really reflect it without losing food. Man. That, yeah. That's harsh. Alright, well... Uh, I think I better end this episode before it becomes really, really long. So yeah, I was thinking I wouldn't be able to defeat this person. You are better than I thought. Try again. I was thinking I wouldn't be able to defeat this person in one try, and indeed that is the case. So the King of Plague will have to wait for another day. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.